I don't even know if that's going to be possible to trigger the boss in time or not. 8-7. Uh, we think probably be alright. Trying to do this in one shot. Come on, boss, spawn. And come. I'm excited for what we can accomplish today. Like we can still make this bow even better somehow. Even though it fires up to 125 arrows at once, we just need better artifacts for it. And since we have the fighter's bindings, those are just going to make everything so easy. Plus, I feel like we can make a pretty incredibly overpowered soul build. Maybe even more damage with the fighter's bindings. One thing I want a lot of are the fireworks arrows. These come from high block halls along with potentially unique soul robe. So I'm mostly going to be using my speedrun gear to get through this very quickly. But look how insane this weapon is. This is on my speed build. This has nothing to do with DPS or tankiness, and I can absolutely obliterate anything while staying alive. Fighter's Binding's definitely the best thing I've found. And if those don't work and I get caught up, I've always got my bow for backup. It obliterates pretty much anything in its path by itself also. And since we're here anyways, might as well grab this instead of running past it a thousand times. Which basically leads to the underhauls. It sure is a nice feeling when my speed build and my DPS build are basically the same thing. Like these guys are basically the strongest units in the game, and I just destroy them. Absolutely. I gain health while doing it. Hey look, a golem! They're definitely a little bit tougher, and they will hurt me if they hit me, but as long as I don't get knocked into the big red things, I won't die. But also, look how much damage just my bow does, and that's without any artifacts, like, increasing its power in any way. Golems are stupid, they just sit there and let you hurt them, whoops. Even the enchanted guys with thorns, I actually heal through it. I do more healing and damage than they return damage to me. This is exactly what I didn't want. But the newly unlocked underhauls does also have fireworks, arrow, plus solar robe, so I'm all about it. Although, maybe not for zero secrets in one chest. Although, this part where you have have to explore every little corner of the dungeon looking for a key is kind of a buzzkill. But whenever I'm feeling bad, I just start killing things again and I feel much better. At least it rewarded me with a chest and gave me something I don't want. And then the game crashes anyways. Redstone Mines also has a fireworks arrow plus a boss, so that's more interesting. Although the level gets hard when there's a bunch of spawners and enemies jammed up. Anyways, we could probably just fight the boss with our straight up speed gear, although maybe not. Arrows it is because I'm too lazy to change my gear right now. Imagine if these were fireworks arrows? Yeah, you'd be real dead. So I'm just gonna keep running these levels until I find what I want. I'll see you guys then. Since I've got to do something to keep myself entertained, I thought I'd just show you guys the difference between my speed build and my DPS build. That's about it. My first one. Explosive power of TNT combined with the high velocity movement of an arrow. What could possibly go wrong? Especially with 125 of them. So that's going to add a solid 3907 damage. We're going to try that out right now. And we're going to put on the archer's armor for an extra 30% damage because obviously. So without the fireworks, something like this. Definitely hurts the cows, but nothing too extravagant. We use the fireworks arrow and wow. I can't wait till I have three of these things. I can't really see how much damage I'm doing, but I'm assuming it's a lot. This is a decent sized herd, so... Yeah, it one-shots a massive mob of them. Naturally, we need to add just a little bit of fire to all that too. Or can you only use one or the other at a time? Well, there's the fire. Oh no, I see. It's all still on. Very fun. This will be a fun experiment. I'm going to use a gong of weakening on this guy. And then hit him with the full power of the arrows. That was a huge first hit. That took a third of his health off. And this actually might be the highest CPS we've seen yet. So I'm really excited to add more fireworks to that. Because you can never have too much. That means one of the other things I'm really going to be keeping an eye out for. Is something with three of these. Because we'll get 27% cooldown times three. My first unique of the day is I hit level 169. Fox armor. With decent enough enchantments. But I'm pretty sure I have a better one. Pretty sure. Doesn't it look nice? We're going through a bit of a dry spell, so I'm going to start buying artifacts for 320 gems each. Boy, these are expensive, but I really hope I find some fireworks. Even to some high-level versions of the things I normally use to get my gear score up would be great. I'm quickly starting to regret my decision to do this. I haven't found one thing that I could use yet. Okay, I just spent over 5,000 gems and got nothing. But I'm pretty sure one of these next three items is going to be exactly what I want. Two, and this will be it. I can feel it. Never mind. I guess it's back to the dungeons. There's a lot of spawners in this room. I don't know if I've ever seen this many at once. I'm just really glad I have this bow so I can be super lazy about clearing it out. One thing I did want to try is my current bow against this boss. I just one-shotted him. Imagine what we could do with more damage. And it rewarded me with another fireworks arrow for my good work. And the level of them does make a big difference. The 104 is 3907. The 105 is 4202. So about 300 damage per level. I kind of want to try this firework build for just clearing out the level. I think it's probably going to work pretty good. These rooms always have a healthy amount of mobs in them. We'll give them some fireworks. That should help clear things out a little bit. Yeah, this is way easier. I don't really even have to try at this point. I just kind of hit one enemy and then I die, but it clears out the whole room pretty much by itself. I'm not really sure yet how these things work, but number two down there has been bugged out for a while. Like, I can't get it to activate. 
Not that that's much of a problem. I'm still destroying everything. It's just curious. So if I'm understanding this correctly, I can use my fireworks arrow one at a time, but I can use them sort of back to back like that. I'm not really sure if I'm just being stupid, but I'm having trouble understanding how these work. So I can use the firework arrow like that. Number two is grayed out right now because I think it is doubled down on this one, but now I can use it again. I don't really know. What I do know is we need to put all these fireworks to the test against the cows and then the boss. Bird number one shouldn't be too much of a problem. They basically die one hit as long as the arrows do explode on them. A few stragglers left, but that's not the end of the world. Need some more already. There we go. I like that chain reaction. Works great. That's it. I need you guys to group up in a nice tight little bunch. Oh, there's a lot of them here. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, it's still pretty fine. We can still do better. Okay, I'm learning. I just realized it shows one firework arrow down here in the lower right. I don't know what that means yet. I guess it means it's still active as long as I'm seeing that and then it goes away. It seems like sometimes it's good for one firework, sometimes it's good for more. This time, I'm going for the new speed record and I think I might be able to get it. And oh, almost three hits. That had to be a record though. Three hits almost had him. But that damage is definitely going to be affected by how many arrows I'm firing at once because in this shot it's anywhere from 5 to 25. Where there is still room for improvement is in my armor. This one only gives me 30% range damage. If I find mystery armor with double ranged perk, well, more damage. So I'm going to spend the next 40 hours of my life running the desert temple looking for just that. You know what? Mystery armor could be good for almost any situation because there's so many different variables on it that it could be good for any build. Is that mechanical short bow by the way? Not bad because it has accelerate, multi-shot, power, and say chain reaction that could be a fun combination two uniques in one run more spider armor what more could i want except for you know actually what i was looking for i found grim armor with dual cooldown but i need triple to make anything worthwhile does this look like a door to anyone else because it really looks like one to me 80 runs later our first mystery armor and it's nothing good this has probably been obvious to a lot of people except for me because i'm stupid but these traps are actually activated by the things on the floor if you go around them they don't actually activate and if you roll across them they still activate so go around them whenever you can level 170 and just learning how traps work i also forgot the torment quivers were a thing 932 range damage which is quite a lot but passes through walls that could be a lot of fun to play with with my bow another unique grave bane i know i already have a 107 version of that thing all right i've been running this dungeon for a while now i just wanted to emphasize how few mystery armors i'm getting i found one compared to all the other thief and grim armors one so for every 10 armors i found so far i found one mystery armor almost like the game heard me here's another one Movement speed and artifact damage. Garbage. I'm getting tired of running the dungeon, so let's spend our 5,000 gems to hopefully find what we need from the shop. Or even just anything good at all. I would take anything right now. Here's a fortune spear, level 105. Which could actually be a lot of fun if it drops a lot of strength potion with critical hits, swirling, and shockwave. These have me excited. 108 moon daggers it's all critical boost. What they lack in radiance, they make up for in pure damage with critical hit, swirling, and shockwave these with the souls would do a ton of damage i'm gonna play with those down the road for sure items later a cave crawler already have one of those and an auto crossbow i'm getting really lucky with uniques this could be fun because of its high fire rate plus acceleration plus multi-shot plus piercing plus chain reaction imagine going that fast but then multi-shot then all of those splitting there's so many things i still need to try that i don't even know where to start gray items later you'll never guess what i found another fighter's bindings Maybe these ones are even better. They're actually basically the same. I would do critical hit, shockwave, and radiance. This is definitely, absolutely the luckiest 5,000 gems I've ever spent. Speaking of which, 106 diamond pickaxe. Please have three prospectors. It is zero. And you know what? While we're at it, let's find another fighter's bindings, 105. I don't know how or why I'm getting so lucky. I just am. They do have swirling, which I would really like on these, but then the middle enchantment, there's nothing there. Radiance is good, but because it's missing the middle one, I can't use these. Well, I did exactly find what I was looking for, but I did find some really cool stuff. Back to the grind. And one eternal knife. Pretty sure I find those like every second run, but great. A single mystery armor, the one thing I'm actually looking for. This one has attack speed and freezing resistance. And another one, this one has damage reduction, freezing resistance. Okay, so here's where I'm at. After running that a million billion different times, I'm finding very few mystery armors. And after looking it up, I can't really seem to find any confirmation that they can even boost range damage. They can do a whole bunch of things, but I can't find ranged. That's not to say that enchantment doesn't exist. I'm just a little worried that I'm wasting a lot of time. But not to worry, I still have a pretty fun idea to try. I'll need you guys to come with me. Because if I can find a strength and or shadow potion right about here, I might be able to kill that boss in one hit. There's a strength potion. Let's see if we can coax a shadow potion out of these guys. No, but we did get a second strength potion. So let's see how this goes. I think two hits, maybe, hopefully. Either way, it's going to be really, really fast. One, two, wait. Well, two and a half because I kind of screwed up my power. 
That would have been two for sure. And with the shadow potion, yeah, I think one shot, so we're gonna do it. It takes a long time to herd these cows to where I need them. And even once you drag them all the way there, there's no guarantee they're gonna drop either of the potions I need. All right, after that group of cows, I have one shadow potion. So as long as I don't drink that, I can lure other cows in and get a strength potion. This'll work. It's still just gonna take a very long time to get them there. Of all the things they can drop, two apples and arrows. All right, I got one that's close enough. These last for 30 seconds, that's lots of time. Now it's just pressure on for me after trying to set this up for so long. I'm only gonna have 10 seconds from the time I pick up that shadow potion, so I don't even know if that's gonna be possible to trigger the boss in time or not. 8, 7, uh, what the, probably be all right. Trying to do this in one shot. Come on, boss, spawn. And, oh, I still didn't do it in one shot. Two shots for sure though, no problem. I'm still very confident I could do that in one shot if all of my arrows would trigger the first time. Seriously? I wanna try this again, but if I don't get anything but swiftness potions, it's gonna take all night. I guess I could be smart and put on armor that's gonna cause more potions to drop. Or this one that drops consumables? Yep, that'll work every time I use food, so I can actually spawn potions, I've just gotta wait for them. Even now, I'm getting everything but the potion I want. All right, whining always works. Plus, with the help of the swiftness potion, it'll be, this'll be a little bit easier. Except for the game is now not really going anywhere I want it to. I think the potions are confusing it. Yep, this is all going very well. I'm so glad I took so long to do this this idea and now I can't even pick up the damn potions. Shortly after, the game crashed on me. It feels okay now, so hopefully it actually works this time. Anyways, this time I'm gonna spawn the potions right near the boss, that way I don't have to run as far. Did you notice it? There's actually a shadow potion within that strength potion. I didn't notice it first. So here we go, trying one more time, let's one shot the boss. He's gonna spawn, I've got all the time in the world to do this. One, two, and three. Nope, definitely two hits, but I get to let all the arrows trigger. This time, I'm feeling lucky. And one more time. Potions in order, boss gonna spawn, and got him. Nope. Oh, he took even more hits than before. Well, we definitely killed him in two hits. If I had better rockets, one away, and maybe a better bow, one hit is probably doable. It might be doable now, but I don't have time to sit here all night and try this again and again. A few moments later. I've decided to give this a try again because I really think it can be done. I can very consistently kill this guy in only two hits. If I get multi-shot to proc five times, I think that'll be it. So that time I lost half his health on two times multi-shot. Finish him off with the second shot at only one times multi shot. So if I get it to proc five once, I think that'll be it. It just may take a while because every time I fire it, I tend to get a different result. That was a three, that was a two, that was a three, that was a three, that was a one. Five rarely comes up. That was a four times multi shot. He was that close to dying. A five times will definitely do this. It's just gonna take forever. I was so shocked by that, I accidentally stopped recording thinking that I was going to start recording. I've been trying for hours waiting for that 5 times multi shot, so what I'm going to do for now is hopefully find a better firework. I've got about 11,000 more to spend on this. And I've been told that having a higher gear score actually makes you find higher level things when you're buying stuff, so I put on some crap to bring me up to 107. So far that seems to be having little difference because I'm finding a lot of level 100 gear. There's a 105 fireworks arrow, but that's the same one that I have. Alright, well this appears to have failed, so I guess back to the grind. Alright, that was my final attempt because I'm out of time. I've spent so many hours trying to get a 5 times multi shot. I just can't do it. That boss can definitely be killed in one hit. It's just about a 1 in 100 chance if my math is correct. 